we'll talk to everybody. Let me find the quest. The wife of the chairman of the Merchants Guild was killed by poison last night. The chairman had admitted to having had an argument with her earlier in the evening and poisoning her out of anger. However, the whole story might not be this simple. Merchants Guild. Chairman, you did not murder your wife, correct? Here's your housekeeper's testimony to that. You can't fool me! Even though I've been caught, my eyes and ears are still out there. I know you haven't found our agent. I have no idea what's going on. He's a poisoning a farmer. To find the truth, go to Natal and talk to the housekeeper for evidence, then report back to the chairman. I guess. That seems to be the only thing here. Did any others open up? Doesn't look like it. That's fine. I was going to reorganize just to make sure that I only had need, but it's fine. Okay, 447190. Nothing says careful arche uh, careful archaeology like detonating everything with explosive bluntly. So what was it? 470, 190? Let's start with that. Wait, what? 447, 
Okay, so it's not the tavern, or no, housekeeper, that's right. Housekeeper, is it true that your master murdered his wife? I don't think so. Even though they did often not, get, even though they often did not get along, that's just how their marriage was for all these years. It would be unthinkable for the master to poison anyone, much less the missus, over an argument. What if it was them? Who? Do you know something? Before master became the chairman, he had a different family. The previous chairman's daughter, the missus who was poisoned, and the master fell in love. He left his previous wife and son to marry her. Last month, I heard he ran into his ex-wife and son. Sadly, just a few days later, robbers attacked his previous family at their home, killed the ex-wife, and the son disappeared too. The master and missus argued hotly on this topic many days, and even then, the master never took the poisoning. What could have possibly have gotten him to do it to do so this time? It doesn't make sense if you ask me. I think I have a grasp of what happened. But talk, I will go have a talk with the chairman to confirm a few things. I've written down what you have told me. Please confirm that it is correct. I see no problems. What's got you down, Tran? You don't look like someone who's just won a battle. You swirl the glass in your hand. I didn't expect so much help when we passed through the defense. Rio, North America, Luanda, even Sitzer sent men to help. It's too bad we couldn't celebrate with them before we split up. I've grown accustomed to Misanda and her mischief on the boat. Without her, it's so quiet and lonely. We were drifted apart in a chaotic battle, after all. The best way to not let them down is to keep pushing forward. I'm sure we'll see them again. So you figured out the situation? Don't underestimate our intelligence. I have a pretty good idea of this area over the last few days. Oh, do tell. This side of Africa isn't as lucky as Luanda. Portugal sent ships long ago to establish their superiority here. Then aren't we still in danger if Portugal wants us as badly as they do? We don't have to worry about that yet. Thanks to the blockade, they still don't know what we're, that we're wanted. With all, the, uh, with all the commotions, we may be exposed soon. Okay, we now have two objectives. One, keep searching for Captain Magellan. Two, coming here means we're getting close to the legendary Spice Islands. No way we'll leave empty-handed. I can't hardly wait. We should act first before the Portuguese troops find out here, here find out we're wanted. Buster, what's the closest port with Portuguese forces? So far, just north of here. That's the place. Set sail. Oh, so far. That's awesome. Uh, let me explain. So, this didn't actually help me too much earlier, but I wanted to get this triple-decker galleon for my ranged unit. Um, it takes place in Trujillo, um, but I couldn't get it to, to build. However, Sofara also has another thing, but for melee, that I wanted. So, that's the Arab Arabian Giant Dao. I don't know if it's the right choice, but it looks pretty interesting. So, as, as far as stats go. Okay, so what are we doing here? Um, you met up with Mag I didn't meet up with Magellan, what? Maybe a long time ago. The blockade at Cape... It probably... I don't know. The blockade at Cape of Good Hope has kept the Portuguese from learning that you're fugitives, but not for long. Take the chance and act first. Your next destination lies just north off the coastline. Safara. Another hourglass. Chairman, you did not murder your wife, correct? Here is your housekeeper's testimony to that. Bold-faced lies! Don't believe them! It, it was me! That night, I was so angry that I had to poison her. Chairman, if it was really you, if it really was you, you wouldn't have used poison. The use of poison is usually premeditated. It does not fit with the crime of passion. I think it was your son who poisoned her. About a month ago, your current wife had your ex-wife killed by hiring some thugs. Fortunately, your son escaped and was not home at the time. And he went into hiding. Or, or was not home at the time and when he went into hiding. Knowing that it would be difficult for him to get his revenge on a prominent figure like the wife of the chairman of the Merchant's Guild, he bided his time for a month, waiting for the opportunity to poison her. He must have come to the same deduction, or perhaps even met with him. Now you want to take the blame for him, out of a father's protective instincts and guilt for leaving him and his mother. Stop! Please stop! Leave my son out of this! Don't say anything about this to anyone else, and I will give you a lot of money. Regardless of the reasons, the truth should never be concealed. Let the courts judge you and your son, and may God have mercy on your souls.
I've never seen a Portuguese army like this before. Where do you come from? The guard was surprised when they saw your fleet, but they didn't realize you left some ships on, uh, behind as backup. We're from Portugal, as you can see. You raised the Portuguese flag from your time with Magellan before docking. It hasn't flown on your ship in a long time. How did you cross the Cape of Good Hope? No one has made it through there in a long while. We just came straight through. Surprisingly, no one tried to stop us. How can that be? It's always been guarded by multiple factions. Even we haven't tried to move on them for fear of the toll it would take. Someone was trying to break through the defense lines with a huge fleet making an all-out assault. I took the chance among them in the chaos. This is important news! Come with me to the palace. We have to tell Komuk. But you can't bring any weapons. Your men will have to stay at the port until we confirm your identities. Surely I can take my assistant with me? Of course. Okay, I'll work with you. But if you give my men any trouble at the port without cause, don't blame me if I turn on you. Don't worry about that. At least you're one of us until we get to the bottom of this. Then lead the way. That sounds really mean, but okay. Um, before we do that... Take a look. Yes! This place has it. Look at that. 190 sailors and 2,000 cabins. Armor costs less than the Venetian galleys, or I'm not sure if it's less or not. I can build one, just one. <laughs> All right, I'll hold off for now, but I, I've, I've got my eye on that baby. I need another bosun. I don't think I do. Pretty sure I don't. That is very surprising news. I've never heard of anyone pushing through the blockade like that. Can you tell me exactly what happened? Uh, let's stick with mostly true details. It was a European coalition that caused the conflict. They're pursuing another force at sea. Oh, and who would it be worth an attack of such scale? A little known faction that suddenly rose to great power in the seas. You mainly helped the local residents on the western coast of Africa. But that affected the profits of other factions. But they are wily in their ways and have avoided many attacks. And then, those factions teamed up to siege them at the Cape of Good Hope. Really, and just who is this unknown faction? They're originally one of us, Portuguese. They are the so-called McLaren faction, led by a man named Rustuck. McLaren? Why haven't I heard of them? That's why they're little known. That decisive battle eventually brought defensive forces at the Cape of Good Hope into the conflict. They launched a full-scale assault, and I, slipped in, and I slipped in through the chaos. I understand. Did you see who, bought, who won the battle in the end? No, but at the time they were evenly matched. No matter which side won, they'll have sustained heavily lo heavy losses. I see. Thank you for bringing me this important news. We have to be ready for anything. If this McLaren does make it here, we need a countermeasure. Okay, I just arrived here and need to recuperate. If you need anything, just say the word. I'll do my part for my country. Okay, Tran, go and rest. I'll call you if I need anything. Heist. Komuk likes your answer, but you need to return to the residence and think things through. <laughs> the McLaren, not bad, but who is this Captain Rustuck supposed to be? What, I can't borrow your name and spell it backwards? What do you think of Komuk? I don't think he's honest with us. And we are honest with him? From his words and ex his expression, it's, it's clear we're both hiding something. I got that feeling too, but I just can't think of what he would be trying to get out of us. Ha! So even the smart one gets stumped sometimes. Don't just make fun of me, spell out what you get. When a commander gets info from an unknown face, regardless of nationality, he won't fully believe it unless he has absolute assurance. He may not be scheming against us, but he, has, uh, but he at least has to act like he's suspicious. I don't think it's that simple. Hold on, I haven't finished yet. Don't forget, he still hasn't seen our full power yet. We haven't attracted his full attention, so to him we're just delivering some no-name messages. We're just some no-name messengers. He may be planning on sending us out as cannon fodder in some battle. You know, I'm starting to think he might actually know what you're doing. Ha! What have I ever led you wrong? Don't get cocky. Once our story is discredited, we're done for. That's why we must act now to delay that as long as possible. To avoid arising any suspicion, I'm giving. I'm going. To, I'm going to take a ship to the sea and take down any remnants I find. No, it's too dangerous. Like you said, I know what I'm doing. I'm not stupid. I do find myself. Outnumbered by enemies, I'll turn around and come back. Don't, uh, don't worry about me. Run out alone, Maine. Uh, the remnant of the coalition forces may break through the blockade and reveal your identity. To avoid arousing suspicions, you have to do it with only one ship. 
When you're ready to go out to sea with wait for the remnant force, only boat in position one would join the battle. And the enemy has smoke artillery that would render melee damage useless. A long range artillery ship is recommended. Is that what smoke does? Whoa, I didn't re I didn't realize that. And I guess it's really good that I put smoke on my melee ships. Or does it just make me weaker? No, I don't think it makes me weaker. Okay. Um, pause it. I'm gonna Santa Ana Clipper up. This is my big crowning achievement of a artillery boat. Actually, you know what? Make a save here. Give me a second. I want to build a boat for just for this. Wait. Yeah. Holy Trinity Battleship. Whoa. They gave me a new ship. Hold on. So this is a ranged ship. Probably better than... than than the one I could build here. So we're going to go ahead and actually deposit one. Which one should I deposit? We'll do is a uh, config fleet, Simon 3, import, save. Probably got to deposit the queen. Maybe the... Actually, hold on. The 4780. It's got 68 guns. Two guns. But it has a phenomenal uh, durability. Even though I spent a lot of money on that, building up its. Uh... Did, didn't I? It was this one I spent a lot of money on, okay. I have goods, I gotta get rid of goods. Oh, I bought goods. You know what? I'm selling them. I'm taking the loss. This is my this is my chance to sail out in a in a majestic boat, and we're gonna do it. build. I already have the boat. Okay, so we deposit. Withdraw. Hold on real quick. That the slot one. Let's steal all this stuff off of it. Just for now. All right, we're ready. Do this. These guys are insane! After a defeat like this, all we can do is escape to the eastern coast of Africa and ask for help. Yeah, and we can't underestimate Tran any longer. Even a circle of this size couldn't stop them. Ah, how nice of you to take me so seriously. It's you? Yes, it's me. Sorry, but I couldn't let you interfere with my plans. I have to sneak out here and stop you. Ha! Don't get cocky. You think you can stop, with, with, stop us with one ship? There's only one way to find out. I don't kill nobodies. Tell me your name. My name is Ristuk. <laughs> so that's a real name after all. Making fun of us? Attack! Capture Tran and we'll be rewarded.
That should protect our cover up for a bit longer. Time to go. Oh man, I reduced friendliness with Portugal, even though I just spent a bunch of money investing in this place. Oh well. Quickly return to the Safari residence. A successful endeavor. Sorry to keep you waiting. You're too ballsy. Don't worry, I won't go over the line. Besides, I need to do right by the brothers who fight beside me. By the way, that remnant army's name happens to be Restuck. That's too much of a coincidence. I was laughing about it all the way back. Back to business. Kobuk sent a messenger. They will take on Mozambique next. They want us to gather intel on the front line. So that was his plan all along, just like I said. He's sending us out as cannon fodder. Why doesn't he send his own men? What's going on at Mozambique? He said we're new to this region, they won't recognize us there. We can disguise ourselves as merchants and investigate. He didn't mention the details. Just that he wants us to be the vanguard troops. He'll initiate the attack later. Fine, I'll have someone send a message. We'll leave at once. You just got back, wanna take a rest first? Yeah, I didn't say we're leaving now. We'll set sail tomorrow. And this time we won't come back. As for scouting intelligence, let his own people do that. Then what's your plan? We're on our own around here, and our identities could be exposed at any moment. We need to find as much help as we can before that happens. <laughs> no matter how suspicious Kobuk is of us, no way he'd expect that Portuguese fleet to help the enemy. So far as Portuguese force want to take on Mozambique, and the enemy of your enemy is your friend. Not really, but yeah. Go there and see if you can befriend the military there. Since you're not familiar, you disguise yourself as a merchant and gather information at the local market. Oh, there's a quest. Do that. Hey, who's there sneaking about like that? Damn, they caught me. Time to split! Yeah? You're splitting the wrong way. Right into this sword. Huh, a letter. Let's see. So he was a spy here to incite war for his master's the prophet. The lowest scum in the land, feels those war profiteers. I should hand this evidence to a guard immediately. True cost of war, part one. Give it to the Safar guard. That's helpful. Guard Captain, I have something you should see right away. The conspiracy letter is handed over. Guard Captain holds up the letter close to his face and quickly scans it. He looks up with a frown. Citizen, you have done well. However, we are short on manpower, so could you help us to root out this conspiracy? Of course, you would be justly rewarded. It would be my pleasure. I also hate for those who disregard human life in the name of profit. We will go immediately. Follow me. The cost of war, or two. What Africa 454-146. That seems to be it here, so let's go ahead and... I did buy everything, right? Yeah, it's all gone. This is the city guard. We have you surrounded. Surrender and submit yourself to the law. We've been discovered. This way, we'll fight our way out. Castle War Part 2.
for a while. It's uh, first time in a while I haven't had to beat someone up to recruit him. Is it the blue one I want to replace? There's two. There's three blue ones. Okay. Our guard escorts sacrificed themselves in the last battle to let us escape. Escape. Would you be interested in joining our guard escort for the return trip? There will be two fleets of professional, professional navy security helping. Sure, for the right pay, anything. Anji's horse racing strategy aside. Hey boss, we're new here. Can you recommend something good? Your satisfaction is guaranteed. If you're looking for quality goods, Emerald is the local specialty. You become fast friend with the shop owner after a quick chat. Where should we go if we want to visit the king? Depends on which king you went to see. Which king? What do you mean? There's more than one? Looks like you really are new here. After the old king passed away, his two sons, Muwe Ni Matuapa and Muwe Ni Matoto, Mato, Matota, fought over the crown. They only made a temporary truce now because of the recent threat posed by Portugal. Which one is in charge? The other one, Matuapa, he's in the palace. But it won't be easy to get a meeting. Not just anyone is qualified to meet the king. Don't worry, I have a way. You must be someone special then. No one special, just an ordinary merchant. I'm Tran, here to see Matuapa. Unauthorized people are forbidden from entering the royal palace. Do you, have, do you have something to prove your identity? No, but I have something important. Then you cannot enter. Matuapa is a busy man. He doesn't have time for everyone that just shows up on his doorstep. Okay, let's see here. Tech merchant ships on their way to 485, 120. That's really close. After investing 8 million gold, go to the office and get your investment certificate. We'll do that other one later. And invest 8 million gold. Was it 8 million? Is that right? 8 million, yeah, okay. Uh, 